Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 76. And in this episode, we're going to talk about some honeycomb. If you're thinking bees, you are thinking correctly. Honeycomb as a weaving pattern, it's a very dimensional pattern. Think kind of a cousin to waffle weave, if that helps. Has a very distinctive background with an outline that kind of wiggles and moves around the fabric. It's kind of magical. So let's talk about how to set up your loom for some honeycomb, starting with floating selvages. So these guys here, they're just kind of hanging out. Those are gonna be really important. It's gonna make sure it catches your weft yarns as you go back and forth. The next spot to pay attention as you're addressing your loom is in your heddles and your shafts. How are your warp yarns being threaded through this part of the loom? Now, I am using my favorite book and Dixon, the Hand Weaver's Pattern Directory on, on page 147. This is the pattern that I use to dress my loom. I set up mine at about the same set as somewhere between uh, plain weave and twill. I'm using a carpet warp and I set it up at 12 ends per inch if that gives you some gauge of spacing. But as you follow the pattern, what you'll find is that you're going to be creating blocks. And what that means is that instead of something like a straight draft where you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then three, four, three, four, three, four. You get the idea. And what that does is it creates separate units in your fabric. Let me see if I can give you a visual here. Uh, let's see. There we go. I have one and two are lifted right now. See these big gaps in it, just like that? So you have a bunch of yarns close together, and then you have nothing where the other blocks will come into play. And this is good. This is what you want it to look like after you've threaded everything. Blocks. That's what you're aiming for. So the last piece of the puzzle that you want to pay attention to is how everything comes together. You want to watch how your treadles are tied up to your shafts because that will make a difference in how your fabric then comes to life. You want to pay attention to not only how they're tied up, but then which one goes with which shuttle because when you're doing honeycomb, you have two very different weft yarns. So you have the first one, which is a finer one, and I, we'll just call it the background. And use something that's about the same size as your warp yarns. That's gonna be um, a, a, a good place to go. And I like to recommend using a darker color that's gonna give it a little more dimension to the fabric, just because the, dar the darker color helps kind of draw your eye in. The other shuttle is the outlining shuttle. And this one needs to be something that's big and squishy, and this is the one that's going to actually kind of curve through your fabric, which is really awesome. Okay, so let's actually get to it, and let me show you how, what this looks like. All right. So first of all, I'm gonna do the background first, and I am gonna do six passes of my shuttle. Now, why six, you ask? It's a number that I played with to find out um, it was kind of the right height for me. But when you try honeycomb on your side, play with what that looks like. You could do four, you could do eight, you could do 10, whatever that makes sense for you visually, what you want to look like. But six is where I landed, so let's go to it. All right, so using my floating salvage there. That's one. And this is two. And this is three. Now I'm just kind of alternating between two different uh, treadles down below. Not rocket science. This is number four, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, this right here is five. And then this should be our last one is number six. All right, so that was our background. Now we do the outline. So for the outline, you're just going to do some plain weave. I'm going to do one and three and then two and four. It's just two passes. So I'm going to take my nice big squishy one and we're going to send it into the fabric. Here we go. So that is one and three right there. And then I'm going to send it back the other direction with two and four. There we go. And that is what it looks like. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm gonna give you a note about honeycomb, just to be aware of, is that as you're creating this beautiful, 
beautiful fabric. It's really just one-sided. If you look at the back, you'll find these really long floats that make it trickier when you're, uh, if you want to use it for something. You got to watch the back. I recommend actually lining the back or use it like in a pillow application. That would be brilliant because the, it's really just the top side that you can use. Just as a thought. But I encourage you to give it a try. Play with colors, play with textures, play with the sizing. Honeycomb is really very cool. In a world where we deal with a lot of straight lines, honeycomb is one of those few where you throw in a couple little curves, which I love that. So, so give it a go, my friends. You can do it, I promise. So have a wonderful week. If you've been enjoying all things acting creative, go ahead and hit subscribe. Share with a friend. The more, the merrier, I say. All right, have a great week and happy weaving.